All right, um, now for the next level of bring up. Uh, you can see my bench is very messy. Messy benches meaning you're doing work. Clean benches mean you're not doing anything. So last time we kind of brought up the motors. Um, now uh, it just demonstrating that the line scan camera works. So what I have here is the TFC board um, connected to this fancy line scan camera on our Shapeways mounts that you can go to Shapeways and purchase. Um, the other kind of thing we did is uh, this example code uh, uses the Kinetis USB interface to create a communications class device, a virtual COM port, uh, to beam, beam data to a LabVIEW application. So this is kind of like the concept for the Freescale Garage. So um, you can say I have data. I'm just going to kind of uh, point the camera. You can see down here I have a little black line, and uh, we can go back and forth. Now, what's kind of cool about this is one of the most difficult parts about getting a car is kind of verifying your camera works. So this application, which we can kind of develop, uh, I'm kind of calling the Freescale Garage, will kind of allow you to tune your camera. And, and you kind of see these other effects that, you know, um, you notice that the edges here, uh, it, it kind of falls off. That, that's a spherical aberration from, from, from your, the lens. So um, it kind of gives you an idea of what's going on and, you know, maybe some, gives you some ideas for some signal processing algorithms. So, um, so there we go. Yeah, we can point it at something weird and get something weird um, or look at our, you know, put it all in black, kind of point it at white. With white, we still see the spherical aberration um, at the end, so you got to figure out kind of cool ways you know that you can deal with that so it is possible but um, let me back it way out we can look far near um, so so there we go so uh, there's the line scan camera interfaces work there's two of them um, and you can kind of write data to get to a LabVIEW application